hi everyone welcome back to the react chase video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can put a component inside the loop and why we need it and before that i just want to discuss a few moments for uh, my previous video in my previous video we have a list of the users and we use the map function here and just iterate the lead, uh, uh, list here and the list iterated a uh, three times one for peter second for bruce and third for the marks so now uh, why i want to write uh, another component for it and uh, use this component inside the loop so if i just put this code inside a component i can reuse this code and uh, let's say i want to perform some uh, events inside it and write some functions and write some style here then it will be good that uh, the everything should be in the different component if i'm just going to everything here then the code will uh, inside a map or a loop will be gonna big all right and this is not good for uh, easy programming and debugging also all right so i'm just going to write a component here so let's say my component name, name is user user dot js all right and here i'm just going to write here some code import react from react all right so it's a big react or small react all right it's just a small react all right so now just uh, choose here export default and class name is user extends react dot component and uh, inside here we can write here like render and inside the render just return here and uh, here we can just simply write here a div or we can just write here h1 tag also all right and here i'm just going to put something like this this dot props dot name because i'm just going to data from here all right so now i'm just going to remove this code from here and just first of all just import the function import and here you can just uh, use user from user all right now just choose this user inside here you can just uh, write here like uh, name equal to item dot name all right and let's see the output here now you can see that you got the three names here so now i can just want to add some style for let's say so just add a style class name and i already made a class name with a user and just use it so okay so this is not pretty good so just use here p3 tag now it's look nice all right so now you can see that uh, the style is applied on every name because we applied here and this is uh, coming inside the loop here all right so let's suppose if you want to perform some actions here and you want to add something more like style and like mm, uh, like the name email address and all if you just like add here then it, the loop will be going use here all right so but if you just write their code here then it, this is uh, totally uh, come in the different file and easily readable so you can use the component like this all right so that's why we use it so this is the way that how you can use the component inside the loop and if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video